Which you guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make registry edits to a non booting computer or without booting into Windows. Now, whatever the scenario may be, maybe you've got um, some sort of registry problem where you've got a registry, corrupt registry, and you need to make some registry changes, or it may be malware on the system that's made some registry edits to your system, and you can use this method to actually change the registry keys. Now, this isn't the only way of uh, making registry changes there's loads of other ways of doing it with different types of software but I'm going to show you with Hiram's Boot CD 15.1 so what I'm going to do here is come down to the mini Windows XP so we're just going to drop down to this one here and we're going to boot into that and use that to uh, load up our registry hive now we're going to be uh, working on a Windows 7 machine now it is booting into Windows XP, that's because it's a live environment. Okay, once we're at the desktop here, what we want to do is go into the HBCD menu. You can either click on the one on the desktop or the one that's already loaded up in the bottom right hand corner. What we need to do here is go to the registry area and then we want to come up to registry editor PE. Click on that. okay so what we need to do here is we need to go to our Windows directory now you will see that the Windows directory is changed to D and that's because we're in a live environment and then once we click on there we need to come down to the Windows folder click on the Windows folder and then click OK okay now it's going to give us some options the SAM folder we're going to click open there security open again software say open to that and then system click open and it's now going to ask you do you want to select a remote user profile hive Now this is uh, basically the user account if you want to load up that you can choose to do so I'm going to say yes here just to show you I'm going to click OK and what we need to do here is we need to go to our Windows directory of the machine that's um, not booting in this case it's now D and then uh, once we click on there we're going to go to users and then click the account that you want to load the hive of and in this case it's going to be Brightec and there you can see the uh, ntuser.dat file click on that and click open and it will ask you if you want to load up another hive for another user in this case I don't want to so I'm going to say no but if you have got more than one user account you want to load then click yes and now it's going to start to load up the remote registry okay so this is what it's telling you they are now going to be named remote underscore SAM and remote underscore security and so on and so on now when I click uh, OK it will open up the registry and you'll see inside HK local machine you'll have some remote SAM, remote security and so on. These are the ones that are on the non-bootable computer. This is the actual registry that we can now edit if we wish. Okay, so it's the same thing really. Just ignore the remote part. Just look at the actual part here. Okay, software and so on and so on. And this is where you'd make your registry edits to whatever you want to do. As you can see, we've got the full registry here could make registry edits to our registry now I'm not going to be making any registry edits I'm just going to be just showing you it's exactly what you can do so you can actually get to this area here the run area and uh, ransomwares and stuff like that will stop them running and they will put change registry keys so you could use this method to actually make registry changes you can also do this in Kaspersky Rescue CD as well but this is in case you want to make other registry changes as well this is just one way of doing it so once you've decided on all your changes here you can actually see the H key users as well again uh, remote underscore Brightech that's this is the account that is loaded up and you can see this is the actual account for the user account for me on my non bootable machine and we can make registry edits here too and that's pretty much how you make your registry edits on a non booting machine and as soon as I close it what it's going to do is change it back it's going to unload it 
which means it's going to take the remote out and put it back to the way it was. So assuming that we've done our changes, we can now reboot the system and hopefully the changes that you made will fix your issues with your computer. Maybe it was, a, as I said, malware, ransomware, something like that. And that's how you basically uh, edit a registry on a non-bootable computer. So I hope this helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, if you enjoy these videos, hit that subscribe button, guys, and also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them. And I'll be making more videos again in the future. So I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.